Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Sorry that you guys missed me last night. I had a migraine and I just could not go live. Please don't do that. Go play your game, please. Hello. Um, for those of you that do not know me, my name is Brittany Budd. I am a leader, a coach, and a mentor, and I empower women to build confidence and create success so they can live the lifestyle of their dreams. And you know what happens when you go live in the middle of the day? You have guests. <laughs> Go finish your lunch. Um, so yesterday I posted on my personal page saying, ask me anything. I'm going to give some free coaching. And if there's time while you guys are watching, feel free to ask me questions in the comments and I'll try to answer them. But I picked two questions that I got last night in my private message. Um, so one of them was about dealing with um, like a negative team like negative workplace um, I do not know the context of this company or this person's role um, I believe that this person is in a leadership type role but what do you do when you are in a situation where the people you are surrounding surrounded with are negative so first things first is to make sure that you do not let their negativity impact you. But if you are leading this group of people, you get their employees of yours or they're your team and you find that they're negative and they don't really have any motivation, the best piece of advice that I can give you is to celebrate the small things. It's all about creating a, a culture that's positive, an environment that people want to be in. So if there is a way that you can like celebrate small wins, um, the comment was that the team is used to failing so they don't really have a lot of drive. So when I say to celebrate the small things, I mean like congratulate someone on like making a call that they didn't want to make or sending an email that they didn't want to make or you know even if they did a, res a resell, like a renewal type of sell with a customer that's already existing. Like give them a kudos and make them feel good because it's all about creating a really great environment and that's super positive to be in. And once you start reminding them with those small celebrations that what they do has an impact, then it should motiva motivate them to want to do more. So, like I say, I did not know the context of that, but that is the advice that I am going to give you based on the little bit of information that I have. So, hopefully, that helped. Um, another person messaged me and asked me, how do I cope with my anxiety? So, I am someone that personally deals with, like, mental health issues. I've talked about this in the past. I suffer from anxiety and depression and okay so Noah had to go to the doctor today I'm sorry Noah had to go to the doctor today and I let him get a kinder surprise for being a good boy and he wants to show everyone his car hold up your car hold it up there you go okay I have to finish this I love you how are you sorry everybody so I like I say I'm someone that deals with um, anxiety and depression and it is a daily thought process to battle that. So if you are someone that deals with anxiety, it's so important to ground yourself. Um, there are lots of great resources. I don't, I've never done it this way, but I know some people say like, like close your eyes and like think of the things that you're smelling. Like, what are the smells that you smell? Like, open your eyes and focus on something in front of you. What are you looking at? What, are, what can you feel? Like, try to use your senses to ground yourself. Um, and another really great tip is positive affirmations, which I know for some people sounds like, woo-woo, like you're crazy. Um, but positive affirmations certainly help with anxiety. Instead of thinking to yourself, like, I can't do this. I'm scared, I'm nervous. You need to say, like, I'm, I'm not scared. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to accomplish this. I'm going to be successful at this. Maybe it's gonna take some trying, but I'm willing to, to try. 
So hopefully that helps that person. Um, so yeah, if anyone else has any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. It's kind of fun to do this every once in a while. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.